good evening everyone welcome to cmf prayer meeting of today the topic of today is correcting one another in love first of all let's read first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 brothers and sisters we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope this is in mind I would like to inform you that sister Ragini has gone to be with our Lord on 21st March this Sunday last Sunday 1 p.m. please keep brother Rajkumar and the family in your prayers now, sister Ragini is not just the wife of brother Rajkumar she had an amazing and powerful testimony you can actually go and hear the testimony on P cloud in, in our links is been very supportive in the ministries and uh, very faithful and sincere servant of the Lord now you first got the message I mean email uh, telling about that she has gone to the Lord I was initially really sad then this verse came to mind and I would like all of you brothers and sisters to keep this verse in mind in this testing times forward Brother Rajkumar was preaching even on Thursday Sister Ragini was admitted in the hospital and yet at around 8 p.m. he was still there preaching and let us all hold fast to that great commission of our verse even in times of difficulties okay now I would like to once again quote Romans chapter 7 verse 18 to 24 I am not going through the whole of it don't say so was a, whatever wretched man I am who will rescue me from this body of death thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord so again uh, as I progress in this uh, several sermons I understand how sin lies near how darkness lies near and it is by the grace of the Lord that every day we are passing by and with this in mind that we are, have all fallen short of the glory of the Lord but nonetheless through our Lord Jesus we shall have that we shall be rescued we are rescued let's proceed now the problem statement is whether we like it or not we probably and we probably should not like it we all need to learn how to give biblical correction to those who are in sin or a serious doctrinal error now without correction churches and families tend to run it in the ditch and Paul shows Timothy how to carry out the general art of correction it applies especially to church leaders but it also applies to every Christian so we all have a relationship that requires at times if we truly love others for us to offer biblical correction so although it is never a pleasant task it is part of biblical love in short if you truly love someone you would have to intervene when you are convinced that they are being led astray and obviously all of our natural tendencies is to be defensive but nonetheless the love of the Lord constrains us and we will have to intervene nonetheless but biblically and I'll, we shall give an outline on how we shall do this let's read Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 7 to 12 so you son of man I have made a watchman of the house of Israel whenever you hear a word from my mouth shall give them a warning from me if I say to the wicked O wicked one you shall surely die and you do not speak to warn the wicked to turn from his way that wicked person shall die in his iniquity but his blood I will require at your hand but if you want the wicked to turn from his way and he does not turn from his way that person shall die in his iniquity but you will have delivered your soul and you son of man say to the house of Israel thus have you said surely our transgressions and our sins are upon us we shall rot away because of them 
how then can we live say to them as i live declares the lord god i have no pleasure in the death of the wicked but that the wicked turn from his way and live turn back turn back from your evil ways for why will you die o house of israel now this is uh, this verse itself this verse from uh, is itself the topic of a whole message shall take it maybe this particular uh, was another day for now i just want to keep this reference mind maybe meditate uh, uh, upon the topic at hand i have made you a watchman of the house of israel okay now let's move forward john chapter 16 was 7 to 11 christ declared of the holy spirit it is to your advantage that i go away for if i do not go away the helper will not come to you but if i depart i will send him to you and when he has come he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they do not believe in me of righteousness because i go to the father and you see me no more of judgment because the ruler of this world is judge dear brothers and sisters it is a holy spirit who should be doing the corrections and the holy spirit working through us obviously it should not be our intellectual selves doing the collection mind you and it's very difficult uh, also and you need to be very much close to the lord so as to do biblical correction without standing self condemned now there are some prerequisite before actually uh, say correcting and those or uh, things like that i would like to base this discussion in a similar form of how we uh, deal with addiction counseling for addiction okay most of you might have heard about alcoholics anonymous okay the system is simple okay, you will have some reformed uh, people who are dependent on alcohol okay they were initially very much dependent on alcohol later they were able to uh, get rid of the habit and they sponsor or literally like a mentor they become a mentor to newly uh, sober people and they have a uh, one to one relationship as an uh, as a sponsor and sponsee so one senior guides a junior fellow and when the junior fellow feels craving or feel like he is going back to the habit the senior is there to help guide him and it is said that even more than uh the junior fellow not following it is the senior fellow because of the fact that he has to keep up uh, that his in a sense he, he needs to keep up his testimony for the sake of the junior fellow so whoever becomes a sponsor actually has a gr- greater benefit it is said like that anyway so there are some 12 steps of alcoholics anonymous okay and yes it definitely the original uh, the uh, 12 steps definitely gives it the due part or due credit to the god unfortunately it is very saddening to note that in the later uh, adaptations this they have not given or people as in uh, recent societies do not give the the glory to the lord nonetheless please note some of the points okay we admit we are powerless came to believe in a greater power uh, god as we understood him fearless more in inventory of ourselves and admitted to god and ourselves entirely ready to have god remove these defects humbly asked him to review his shortcomings made list of personal harm make amends continue to make a personal inventory and Uh, through prayer and meditation improve our conscious contact with god as an understand having a spiritual awakening as a result we try to carry the message now let's move ahead matthew chapter 7 verse 4 to 5 how can you say to your brother let me take the speck out of your eye while there is a beam in your own eye you hypocrite first take the beam out of your eye then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye Okay, this is what I want to talk about. So let's. I will read the next half. Um, before that, 
let me clarify on this so while or say before I was um, making this message okay as I said there have been some misgivings on my part uh, as an okay several misgivings on my part so I've been trying to apologize to uh, uh, several such individuals but one such person I found it very difficult very difficult to apologize to so okay the point number eight in this uh, the style steps since I make comments okay make it a list of persons on and became willing to make an I apologize to certain been contemplating for 10 days but somehow okay there was spiritual pride pride now while I was preparing the message I was sure okay uh, I can't go ahead with it I'll be a hypocrite if I do not and so I finally have the guest to uh, apologize to this uh, person while preparing this message so uh, Dear brothers and sisters, I would like to warn you once more. Okay, flee from spiritual pride or for that matter any pride. It hampers the ministry. It hampers the ministry. And we, uh, we have to always look upon the Lord. Look unto the Lord to give us the wisdom to us. know where we are falling in short. And also, we should also understand Matthew chapter 7 verse 6. Do not give to the dogs what is holy. Do not throw your pearls before swine. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and then turn and tear you to pieces. Again, okay, here we would be mostly talking about correcting believers. Uh, at least on misunderstand this uh, verse 6. Okay, the message of the gospel or the sal message of salvation is for everyone. There is no doubt for that, believer, non-believer. Uh, uh, for the message of salvation or message of the gos gospel of uh, the good news is for everyone but yes the mysteries of the Lord are for those who actually love it. now let's move forward so 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 2 to 6 I'll quickly run through it so Paul writes to Timothy you then my son be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ Jesus and these things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses enters to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Christ okay Paul is exhorting Timothy to be a good soldier of Christ no one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs but rather tries to please his commanding officer Similarly, anyone who competes as an athlete does not receive the victor's crown except by competing according to the rules. The hard-working farmer should be the first to receive share of the crops. Reflect on what I am saying for the Lord will give you insight into all things. So, key points are Soldier does not get entangled in civil affairs. Try to please his commander. Who is our commanding officer? Okay. It is our Lord Jesus, Christ Jesus. And to compete according to the rules or what are our rules the bible uh, biblical principles so first of all we have to do our homework before going on trying to correct others and that too biblically so there's a need for diligence and grace and definitely you cannot expect an unbeliever to totally comprehend what we are speaking uh, but even more we have to be careful with the believers we have to approach them through the love of Christ seeking wisdom and seeking the presence the Holy Spirit knowing that we have to go according to the rules and we should be okay our aim should be even more to place a commanding officer okay for the betterment of his ministry or betterment of the Kingdom of the law. Now, okay, some practical tips. Okay, uh, please don't uh, get me wrong. Okay, I am uh, talking about somewhere in the lines of uh, addiction counseling, but nonetheless, when it comes to dealing with people, we have to employ some uh, diligence. So, it is far more effective to set and achieve a realistic objective even if the aim is suboptimal rather than set utopian goals and fail to achieve them in short 80 percentage of something is better than 100 percentage of nothing there's a saying in the 
public health maxim is never let the best be the enemy of the good pragmatic approach focused on outcomes rather than lofty standards set by societal whims and fantasies okay so see this is not the same as conforming to mediocrity mind you no we have a final goal we have yes we do have a greater or uh, perfect goal in mind but okay we should also at times take it slow and steady so as with many cases of psychosocial interventions be it alcohol be it say uh, medication compliance be it marital conscience whatever retention in therapy or follow up is the main predictor of a favorable outcome okay or in our terms okay we have some person who is finding it difficult with some point in life or he is slowly falling out uh, with the grace of god or okay, so whether it be sin bad company whatever so okay see you may not be able to immediately change that person and okay don't go and uh, be friends with that uh, uh, difficult lot of people don't go and uh, indulge in say difficult and agree. we may not be able to do everything and or correct them in one go but yes if you can keep them on or if you can keep them coming to your meetings uh, meetings then with time the holy spirit will work with them uh, and will be able to help them so i'll give a, a real life example from our uh, de addiction practices see if a person okay uh, using alcohol or an um, dependent on alcohol relapses in substance use as around 15 times okay then initially he came he had drunk and he was really aggressive admit to this person okay and uh, i discharged on fifth or sixth day uh, within two days comes back and this process repeats 15 times so whole throughout there this is the thing and in the even the 15th time also family brings bring hack the same therapist okay psychiatrist doctor whatever for the 15th time okay okay you should not be blaming the patient actually it means that the family and also this uh, person has still some uh, faith but trust in you so as to help him get over his addiction or his difficulties so one should be looking at the big picture and then 80% of something is better than 100% of the nothing yes this is just like us okay we do fall back into sin uh, this uh, person this is only 15 time maybe he would uh, really sober up i mean uh, mostly sober up by a couple more times but what about us okay we do keep falling back but nonetheless we should always be able to run through the mercy seat of the lord and we should have that conduct so again this is the conduct so when i said 80 percentage of something is better than 100 percentage of nothing okay if you uh, start saying okay if you drink again don't come back to me i have nothing wrong and you are being a bad human being um, must be doctor we should always be open okay hate the sin but love the sinner now there are some harm reduction principles Okay, in, yes, in the addiction, but it can also be used in uh, cases like this for correction. There is humanism, pragmatism, individualism, autonomy, incrementalism, accountability without termination. I'll just briefly run through all this. So, uh, say the providers respect for the dignity and compassion, respecting the choice of. using a substance or what are these choices this other person has made and the underlying reasons behind okay the problem is not the person but the choices he made problem is not the person but the individual circumstances okay you have to human is consider the other person as a human being and respecting what are choices but nonetheless Uh, being able to say okay this is wrong uh, you need to come out of it and uh, pragmatism so abstinence is neither priorities nor assumed to be the goal of the patient okay this may or not be uh, directly applicable in our case so individualism uh, people present with spectrums of harm and receptivity and therefore require a spectrum of intervention options okay some people might be knee deep in trouble or literally uh, they might be say 
chest deep in trouble so you will have to go at a slower pace but some people are just uh, going into problems in those you can approach a bit more aggressively so you need a spectrum of intervention option or you need to be judicious when to be aggressive and when to be careful the autonomy though the providers offer suggestion and indications again patient individual ultimately make uh, their own choices see our lord also our lord is omnipresent omnipotent he can remember he gave the man a free will okay so obedience that comes through free will okay that is much more cherished so you should respect the individual's autonomy incrementalism any positive change is a step towards improve health and it might take years providers can help patients celebrate in a positive moment okay a person okay he keeps on coming to the meeting but still uh, is falling short but nonetheless you can encourage him okay uh, thank you for uh, being there or thank you for being with us okay so we should encouraging whatever good uh, they do while at the same time uh, uh, trying to help them and there's accountability without uh, termination while helping the patient understand the impact the choices and behaviors is valued backward movement is not penalized okay again uh, this my dear brothers and sisters okay some of this might actually seem uh, contradictory or say less productive but time and again it has proven that only people uh, can change themselves okay we cannot directly you know, or uh, holy spirit has to work in them we should be careful so as not to overdo it and literally tick people off okay people get ticked off uh, so we, and that's a trap actually it's an, uh, something called an expert trap and we should be careful not to fall into that and we have a biblical uh, promise jeremiah 322 return ye backsliding children and i will heal you of backslidings behold we come to thee for thou art the lord of god our lord has promised every good promise the lord has made they are yes in christ so lord has promised return ye backsliding children and i means the lord will heal us of our backsliding now again i was talking about the mercy seat okay this is a pictorial representation of the mercy seat okay the mercy seat it lay like a covering of the ark of the covenant okay made of gold and Uh, with the two cherubim and between the cherubim is where the lord was supposed to appear so this is from wikipedia so the kepore kepore or the mercy seat uh, was a gold lid placed in the ark of the covenant the two cherubim beaten out of the ends and create space in the yahweh it was said to appear this was the day connected with the day of atonement the term also appeared in later jewish sources and twice in new testament So Hebrews nine chapter four, I mean Hebrews chapter nine verse four to five, most holy place having golden altar of incense, the ark of the covenant covered on all sides with gold, in which the golden urn holding the manna, Aaron's staff that budded, and the tablets of the covenant above it were the cherubim, overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot speak in detail. So it's a mercy seat, my dear brothers and sisters. Yes, there is the law, there is the covenant, there is the miracles. I don't stop with manna, golden manna, manna. But yes, maybe for that it is the mercy seat. Okay, it is a mercy seat. And again, Hebrew says, for if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of defiled persons with the ashes of a heifer sanctify for the purification of the flesh how much more with the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without a blemish to god to purify our conscience from the dead works to serve the living god my dear brothers and sisters our lord christ jesus has shed his blood on that cross and that is one eternal sacrifice and we have this promise that Christ died for our sins, our sins and the sins of the whole world. We should always have that faith to approach them. 
seat saints so over this hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need my dear brothers and sisters now that i have my limitations on how much i can talk on this topic within the constraint of time and also uh, attention span but nonetheless we need to understand it. we ourselves need to have this confidence only then can we truly correct or say help others if we believe they are condemned if we are like jona who condemned the people of nineveh okay they are uh, jona would have thought okay they are sinners they will be deserve to be judged and what does the lord say do i take pleasure in the death of the wicked or or false state do it no the lord does not he wants everyone to return so second Ch- peter chapter 3 verse 9 the lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness but is patient towards you not wishing that any should perish but that all should reach repentance lord is delaying his second coming so that we will be able to help one another correct one another biblically through biblical principles and be able to present ourselves as the living sacrifices for the lord okay and dear brothers and sisters yes we are show that just ragni has been going to be with the lord can we we are so sure that okay we are no more the next day we'll be with the lord let us every day try to make sure that we have that repentance in our hearts there is something known as learn helplessness model my martin seligman so the thing goes like this okay dog is put in a cage and shock is given and so they cross over try cross over to the other side other side also there is shock then cross over and after a while the dog stops moving the dog has learned they were helpless to avoid the shock and just sat there and finally uh, even though the shock was would have been disabled after a couple of minutes they still stayed there and keeping on getting on this is somewhat like this okay sometimes we keep on falling into one sin okay there is no point okay, there is no point in trying and as in a garden and accept me so we learn to be helpless and uh, in cases of okay this is one of the theories of how and depression develops and finally it might even lead to suicide but dear brothers and sisters we should definitely never be helpless or hopeless again it is a more of a neurochemical condition but yes we should have it in the back of our mind that our lord is a lot of hope and he has promised that i know the plans i have for you plans to prosper you not to destroy you plans to give you hope hope and the future okay so our faith should not be on ourselves but on the lord jesus christ so as to deliver us from the sins of commission and omission and so commission we all know since omission is something where we fail to correct our dear brother or sister and this is a combined effort also it is not just up to the say elder or not just up to uh say the close close one no it's up to everyone in the ministry even in the church so as to help one another out uh, one another out just like just like okay it is not uh, uh, just the role of a psychiatrist or a psychologist to prevent suicide it's a responsibility of every citizen just like that it is a responsibility of every single person in the church so as to help those who are black student okay help uh, friends and the colleagues who are black student come back uh, to the lord and also uh, help them out when they face serious doctrinal difficulties biblically without being judgmental galatians chapter 6 verse 1 brothers if anyone is caught in transgression you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness 
keep watch on yourself lest you to be tempted keep watch on yourselves lest you to be tempted your analysis some analysis okay do not be grudge the offering so when you are doing this make sure that you do not swell up with pride okay you might tell them gently they might become angry at you okay you should be very careful so as not to be angry or judgmental or like that to them and you should not be bitter also you already talked about bitterness you already talked about uh, hard and hearts and this are or a continuation of that uh, keep it as a continuation of that in matthew chapter 18 was 15 to 17 If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. Very important. Him alone, you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a gentile and a tax collector. Now, okay, when one person says something it may people might find it difficult but if two people okay tell you that okay you are falling short then if it, it might be any of us also me also if you uh, get opinions like that be sure to introspect and uh, lord if you have accepted the lord once okay lord is faithful even though we are faithless lord is faithful and lord will convey the holy spirit will convict you Uh, where you are falling short, and also Holy Spirit in this case where you are helping the other person uh, achieve repentance, the Holy Spirit help you also. So first alone, then with another member, and then if he refuses to tell to the church, then it's a different thing altogether. Second Timothy chapter four verse two. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with complete patience and teaching. This is very important. In season and out of season. Okay, you can, it may not always be possible to. Okay, prepare a sermon and go tell your brother and sister. Possibly, we all have uh, brothers and sisters who are initially very regular in the fellowship, but uh, lately are not. but when we come across them okay it might be in season as in when we are very uh, in close to lord or maybe it may be out of season maybe okay we might have had corona you might be just coming back after a long gap nonetheless in season and out of season you should be willing to preach that's so why just like um, again uh, don't think i am or saying this but yes brother raj was able to preach even from that hospital even i'm just all that okay, obviously yes he would have been afraid uh, and i don't exactly know what was uh, sister ragini is suffering from nonetheless should be able to preach in season and out of season and you have to uh, take this with a pinch of salt but nonetheless be ready be a brother and sisters to preach in season out of season but we do not know because we do not know the when is the second coming of the lord second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 all scripture is breathed out by god and profitable for teaching for reproof for correction and for training in righteousness that the man of god may be competent equipped for every good work now we have come to the end of this meeting maybe we'll discuss more my dear brothers and sisters please uh, go through some of these references i'll try posting uh, the pmp uh, ppt in the group and go through the one of these references so that the man of god may be competent a man or woman of god may be competent equipped for every good work thank you once again and uh, once again a reminder to keep uh, brother raj and his family in prayers uh, till we meet again uh, next week god bless you all thank you